So I'll be sure to YouTube channel. This tutorial will be learning how to make this beautiful, bold, rectangular cape design blouse with double puff sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to be a simple blouse for me. I'm using this Ankara fabric as you have seen. I'm, I'm going to be working with just a regular waist that you can pad it if you want but well, I'm just working with a regular waist that and I'm going to be adapting mine to a peplum blouse because the person I'm making this for is on the big side so this tummy is not that flat so I'm not going to be making this into a straight top it's going to be a peplum okay so this is the upper part which is the half length and the half length I'm working with is 16 inches so I'm making it 17 inches because of allowance okay so you can see the 17 inches there so in this blouse now the front is the one with the zipper okay so you can see that I folded this into two this is the first fold this is the second fold so the one under now is going to be our front because the front carries the zipper so that's the one that's going to have the zipper allowance so now the first thing i'm going to do on my starting point i'm going to take my shoulder measurement shoulder is 16 divided by 2 is 8 so i have 8 inches there so on that point i'm going to go down by one inch from my shoulder slope i hope you can see it so for the neckline it's not going to be too wide so i'm going to be working with around three and a half inches for the width of my neck and then the back is going to be around one and a half inches okay remember the back is the one in front here now okay it's going to be around one and a half inches and you can see me marking it like that and then the front is a is like a v shape neckline so i think i'm just going to make it seven inches okay not too steep and not too wide so you can make your v sharp like this or you can just use your slightly cut ruler so that it can be a bit curve whichever you want you want to work with is fine so now i'm going to connect this to get my shoulder slope and then on that point now i'm going to mark my shoulder my handful measurement the handle i'm working with is nine inches so nine inches is there and then the bust is 44 so 44 divided by 4 is going to give me 11 inches so this 11 inches is from here not from the zipper area okay and because it's not a padded or anything i'm just going to add around one and a half inches allowance you don't need too much allowance for that so now i'm going to draw my arm o curve okay so i'm drawing my arm o curve so now for the waistline the waist i'm working with is 38 inches so 38 divided by 4 is nine and a half okay so i have nine and a half inches here and i'm going to be adding a waist that of one inch okay so my waist that is there and then the left is going to be for allowance so you can see i said the person was the gig size so i'm not going to be adding i'm not going to be making this a straight blouse because i don't want it to look funny okay so I'm going to create my dark there and then I'm just going to notch it so that I can easily know the point where my dart will be when I want to cut it. So I'm lifting it up and then I'm notching it. So I'm going to cut out what I have marked here. I'm cutting the back neckline first, then the shoulder slope and the ham hole. Okay, so to cut the back neckline, you can see I'm just raising the to cut the front neckline. I'm just raising the back, and then I'll draw out my V shape, and then I'm cutting it out. Okay, so the front now is going to be slashed into two because a zipper is going to run through that point. So I'm not going to fix any lining to this. But if you're going to be lining it, you're going to cut your lining the same way we have cut out our fabric. So now take this to the sewing machine then join the darts together and also join the front and back on the shoulder so that's what i'm going to do now before we move to the cape and the sleeve which is the main part of this tutorial okay so now i see me placing it like this i'm going to join the shoulder join it on the side by the one inch allowance that i left and i'm going to hold my darts 
Okay, so I'm going to head to join it together on the shoulder. As you can see, I joined it on the side as well. And I held my dart. Okay, so now my basic, sleeve, my basic body is ready. The next thing now is to create our sleeve. So for the sleeve, there are several ways you can actually make this sleeve. But the most effective way that can give you that puffiness that you want is cutting it in flare form. But you can also cut it in a straight form. You just need to cut your basic sleeve in excess, then you gather it to get you that puffiness. But I want this to be really puffy, so I'm going to be cutting it in flare form. But the only thing is that cutting it in flare means you're going to be needing a lot of fabric, more fabric. So I'm going to try as much as possible to manage my fabric as well. So you can see that we have two puff sleeve that's a double puff sleeve okay so now i'm going to be cutting two flares for that okay the first one is going to be a full flare because i want it really full you can also cut the other one full but it's going to consume fabric like i said so i'm just going to be making the other flare for mine to be like just a half circle flare it's not going to be so full okay so now for the first flare i'm going to measure around my armhole and i have nine inches as you can see so multiply by two remember this is for front and back that's going to give me 18 inches for my round armhole so i'm going to be adding like two inches extra to it for allowance so i'm just going to round it up to 20 inches so that's 20 inches remember i said the first flare is going to be cut in a full form so you're going to fold your fabric into two and then you fold into four like you're cutting your full flare then after folding your fabric like that the next thing you need to do is to divide your radius that we just measured that's 20 inches by 6.28 it's a constant and that gives me around three inches so i'm going to mark the three inches here so now for the length of your flare you're going to measure from your shoulder to your bicep that's where you want the first flare to stop so for me that's six inches so for the puffiness i'm adding extra three inches to it you can add more if you want it's really puffy so that's nine inches so from here now i'm going to measure nine inches all around like this okay so nine plus three so together you need like to fold your fabric into 12 by 12 inches so that you can use three inches for your radius and then the extra nine inches is going to be for your flay and you cut it out so i've done this and i've cut this out on my on my entire fabric now this is my radius and this is my flay for my two sleeves okay so now the first flare is taken care of so for the second flare like i said i don't have enough fabric flares consume a lot of fabric and for the two sleeves you can imagine the amount of fabric you will need so i'm going to work with a half circle flare so so for fold your half circle flare you fold into two first then after folding into two you fold in a cone form like this so that's how you fold your half circle flare so now the measurement you're going to need is your bicep remember it's going to start now where this flare stops okay so that bicep measurement let me just bring in our basic sleeve so you can use your elastic to gather this but the person i'm making this for does not like to work with elastic she reacts to elastic so that's why i'm using this basic sleeve to gather i'm not going to be working with elastic at all so like i was explaining earlier my bicep stops around six inches here so i'm going to just make it seven inches because of the allowance there so that's seven inches i'm going to mark it like this and that is where the first flare is going to stop so you can see so the first flare is going to start from here and then stop on this second inches. then the second flare is going to start here and then stop so to know the radius that you need for the second flare you measure what you have here so i have about 16 inches that is 16 inches in total so now this 16 inches is the measurement that i'm going to use to get the radius so in this case now remember the first one we divided it by 6.28 because it's a full flare so now the second one for full flare you divide by 6.28 but the second one which is a half circle flare you divide by 3.142 okay all these are constant so now if i divide this 16 by 3.4 one four two i'm going to get around five inches or thereabouts so that's what you're going to use to measure like this so now for the length of your of your flare just like we did for the first one the length is going to be from here 
to the hem of this flex so now from here now all the way to the hem i have 15 inches so because this is a puffy sleeve and you don't want it flat you can add extra three inches to it again so that's going to give you 18 inches so now from here you're going to measure 18 inches all around like this and then you're going to cut it out so you can see this is the fourth flare which is the full which is the second flare which is the half circle flare so i'm going ahead to cut my half circle flare as well you can see and i have 42 so this is the first flare and this is the second flare so i'm using this satin fabric as my foundation fabric because i don't want to waste too much ankara and the, ankara, the flare has already consumed lots of ankara already and remember this is still the peplum i'm still going to be adding a flare to the main blouse because the actual blouse is a the actual blouse on the thumbnail is a crop top and i don't want to work with a crop top so now i'll go to the machine to gather this flare so the first one i'm going to gather is the lower one i'm going to gather the largest part okay this part i'm going to gather it here and then i'm going to flip it to this i'll still show us all of that but before i go i want to reshape this one remember the smallest one the head of this sleeve is not uniform if you look at it you can see that it is high here while it is low here which means i'm not going to be cutting my radius uniform as well because i don't want it to be looking funny so now to imitate what i have there on this part you can choose any side that's the side that's going to be your underarm which you're still going to slash open i'm going to go down by two and a half inches you can do three inches as well then from there i'm going to blend into my radius back okay so this is going to be the head of the sleeve which is going to be higher so once you blend it in like that i'm going to cut off these two inches that i have and then i'm going to open up this side so now i'll take it to the sewing machine and start to sew okay so now i'm going to have to gather it so i can see i gathered it to the hem that's the fullest part of the flare you gather it to the hem and then you flip it like this so once you flip it we're going to sew this radius remember we measured this to get our radius so i'm going to sew it to this place like this so i'll take this to the muslim machine so once you flip it you can see that it is neat all this rough edge is going to be inside now and it has been gathered to the actual wrist measurements without the use of elastic because like i said the person does not want elastic so now i'm going to place it like this and then sew it so i'm gonna have to sew it down you can see where i sew it then i'm going to use the second flare to copper off this rough edge as well so now remember when we were measuring this we added few allowance to it just for puffiness so you can see how it is standing as you do not add that allowance it's going to drag it like this and then your puff will be flat and you don't want that so you need to add that extra so now the next thing to do now is to bring in the second flare and then just like we did for the first one i'm going to go over to the sewing machine now and then gather this one as well okay so that lower part that's the fullest part of the flare that's the the longest part not the radius part the lower part you're going to place it like this okay and then i'm going to gather it so after getting it i'll flip it over to meet what i have on top here as well okay so i'm gonna have to gather this also to the to the bicep and then i'll flip it over now and then sew this upper part to the hem okay so i just added around two inches when i was cutting i added that just two inches extra because i did not have enough fabric so if you want yours to really puff down more you can add up to even four to five inches so that it can cover up the next one very well so when you're measuring the length of your flare you can add four to five inches extra to it so that it can be really full and then it will cover the next one so i'm going to sew this now okay so i've gone to sew it and this is what we have so you can see now that it is a bit puffy but it's not as puffy as i would have wanted it to be if i have enough fabric for it so i have not tried to really puff and fold over this completely so now this is what i have the next thing is for you to just flip this now and then sew it on the underarm just like this okay so i'm going to sew it on the underarm and fix this to the bodies 
then you move straight to the lapel to the to the collar so for the cape i put my fabric on fold by two like this and i'm going to be placing this the neckline along this line so before placing the neckline you need to determine the width that you want for your cape especially the back so for my back width i want it to be around six to seven inches so i'm just going to mark the seven inches okay i'm just going to mark seven inches like that because that's the width i want including seam allowance then after that i'm going to bring in my body and then i will arrange it well okay into a half scale so you can do this before you attach your sleeve actually okay because now it's very bulky so i'm going just going to try to pin it now so i'm you can see my neckline this is the back this is the shoulder line and this is the v neck we have in front so i'm going to place the the fourth point against each other like this you can see this is my back neckline here and then i'm going to arrange this now and place the front neckline as well so i'll do all this and use my pin to hold it okay so i've placed this now i'm just going to use my chalk to draw out this neckline that i have so that i can continue with my work okay so this cape it does not include the zipper allowance you can see that i folded the zipper allowance in so this is the neckline and this here is my shoulder point so you're just going to mark it like that so for the neckline the neckline is like a triangular shaped neckline okay so which a rectangular shape so the back is just straight like that okay so like i was saying as you can see the back is in a rectangular form it's not round so you can see the shape that we have on the back so because it's in the rectangular form i'm going to maintain this straight line that we have remember this is the back line so i'm going to maintain this straight line that we have for the back neckline so the next thing now is to determine the length that you want on the shoulder so you can see the shoulder you can see the shoulder area here so for my shoulder i can maintain the seven inches that i used for the back but remember the seven inches that you use for the back is excluding the actual back neckline remember we have already taken the back neckline so for my shoulder i think i'm just going to work with around nine inches so from there i have exactly nine inches here which is what i'm going to maintain so it's going to come in a rectangular form like this okay so this is the back and this is the shoulder so the back is complete now we're going to move to the front so for the front as well you need to determine how long you want the cape to be so as you can see for the front as well the cape is not straight okay so it's not straight down towards the center front like this so which means you're not going to be taking the measurement straight so you need to measure the slant that how uh, how long you want the slant to be so that you can work with the same seven inches so from here now i'm going to be slanting it to this side remember it's not going straight like this so i'm going to slant it to this side you can use your angle ruler to to get the perfect angle there or i'm just going to eyeball it so now i'm slanting it just like we have like this so now after slanting it i'm measuring the length that i want for my cape so you can use seven you can use eight or nine inches so if you want to use nine inches as well you mark your nine inches like that so after marking your nine inches you are just going to place your ruler like this and connect it to your shoulder point so you can see what we have this is going to be the back this is going to be the front so now i'm going to take my scissors and then cut out this shape that i have okay so i have cut the shape now i'm removing it the next thing is to cut out my neckline so i've cut the front neckline now i'm cutting the back neckline so after cutting it and removing it this is the shape you are going to have for your collar so the v is going to come like this as you have seen then you can see now that the front is like this it's not coming straight and this is what the back look like you can see the rectangle shape that we have on the back so if you want to line it with the same Ankara fabric you just cut exactly what you have here use them to turn each other before sewing it to the neckline so i'm lining it with my purple satin and then i cut it exactly the same way you can see so i'll go ahead and sew all of the edges now and turn it out from the neckline so i've sewn it right now so if i notch it and then you're going to turn it out then give it a good press so i've turned this now this is what we have the next thing is just to bring in my bodies now 
and then i'm going to place my 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 collar my lapel my cape sorry on it so now you place it like this and then i'm going to turn it like this okay because i'm not fixing lining but if you are fixing lining you just sew it normally like this and use your lining to turn it out i just sew in my zipper area you can see because i'm here to fix the peplum so that i can complete the dress so now this is what the cape looks like you can see the length nine inches see what nine inches gave to us after i mean after sewing it on the down and lower part i used around one inch so i'm left with eight inches and i'm satisfied with what i have so this is our double puff sleeve you can see that the first sleeve is just going to cover up the second sleeve for you especially if you had enough allowance for the puffing i can see how puffy and beautiful this is looking so this is what the full view of the blouse looks like and you can see how beautiful this is i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with you can follow us on all social media so on instagram facebook tiktok pinitress at library i'll see you in the next one bye